All right, hello everyone. A long time no see. Um, so I have Samara out here with me. Um, so as the title of the video states, uh, Samara is in her second heat. She really just started. I'd say she probably officially started um, maybe a, like a week ago, Thursday. Um, but um, yeah, so she's in her second heat. So I am going to let her um play with jack in a second but um we're not breeding samara and kratos especially on this heat tomorrow's way too young she's um not even just barely over a year she'll be uh, 13 months um next week but she's just barely over a year um so she's not gonna be bred yet hi yes i see you can you hold still so i can record you um, she's doing a little swelling right now, but she'll probably swell a lot. Uh, I don't actually remember. I should probably look, but, um, her first heat, she did a lot of swelling. Um, nothing that's like concerning, but, you know, she was a lot more swollen than she is now on the back end. Um, hi, hi, pretty girl. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, Samara. Hello. Yes, my, my shoes. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking a little crazy from the bottom because I'm just out here for a second. I gotta go back in. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, so she's in her second heat. She's swelling a bit. She's bleeding a bit. She'll start bleeding a lot more. I said, I first noticed it um, on Thursday because she was doing a little bit of licking, additional licking. I didn't notice any, like, any, any discharge or anything, but she was doing quite a bit of licking on Thursday. Then Friday, Kratos was just super, super interested in her. And Kratos is kind of being a rude teenager lately. I'm sorry that their pen is dirty. I haven't cleaned it up today yet. Um, Kratos is, is, you know, he's usually a rude teenager when he likes to hump when he's excited. Um, but he he was just uh, really bad on that Friday. Just really interested. Did not want to stop for any reason. Um, so I had to separate them. <clears throat> on Friday, they, they had a vet appointment together. And I had, to I had to separate them in the car because he was just being obnoxious with it. Um, more so than usual. And it's not unusual for them to be in the car together because Tuesdays is their scent work day. So I, you know, in the car we take them. And if Kratos is too excited, he'll hump. But if I get him a little tired before class, you know, he won't do any humping. He'll be good. But there is just nothing to be done on Friday. Um, and, you know, so I had to separate them. So he was extreme interest from Kratos. Hi, I know you're a pretty girl. So I just want to play. Where's my playmate? Um, she didn't really start doing it, having any discharge till probably this weekend. And even then, it's still not a lot. Um, you know, she'll definitely bleed a lot more. I am going to try to use the, um, um, I guess, uh, gosh, the diapers. I mean, essentially, they're diapers. But um, this time, just to see if first she'll keep them on. Uh, that way, she can be inside the house a bit more often because last time she was in heat and then when i went through heat with jack um they were they just stayed out in the playroom the entire time and um for my two girls their heat cycles lasted you know about a month if not a little bit more i mean of course i wasn't as i this is this is probably the first time i've been as detailed and keeping track of everything um I, I, nope no ma'am you have water in the front i know i know you pretty girl i know you i know you pretty girl hello hello hi um anyway so so yeah so unfortunately for samara this means that she'll probably not be going out anywhere not probably um i mean okay i will say that she does have a, an appointment um not this upcoming weekend the weekend afterwards so she will be leaving the house then for that specific appointment which i'll talk about in a second um but otherwise she's going to be kind of stuck to the house so no classes um so her scent work class creators is going to take over um she had basic obedience and um that class actually ends in a couple weeks so i probably just won't go um i probably won't i won't take kratos for those days i probably just won't go um or maybe i'll take one of the dogs i don't know we'll see um but anyway so she's going to be basically confined to the house we're not even going to go out on walks because i don't want her to attract any other dogs that might be in the neighborhood so i'm gonna stick to the house she's gonna stay indoors or not indoors she'll we'll let her play outside of course but of course we don't want any um accidental breeding so <sighs> so so yeah anyway so friday so friday uh what i ended up doing and i'll talk about this more in a specific video 
but um, basically Friday I took both Kratos and Jack to basically get checked out for um, their oh gross those cicadas are coming out already um, for their uh, OFA testing stuff so so I guess as a summary so I they can get tested for their ears and their heart um, you know at a year age a year of age but their hips they can't really get tested for until they're two um, so but I was just so worried because um, I took Kratos to the an appointment to get his his ears and um, his heart checked out um, his heart is fine so he, he passed the basic cardiac exam which is awesome but his ears he had an ear infection and so they they tested it and the results weren't good um, so they uh, they told me to come back but his ears all right, yeah, he had an ear infection in both ears, so his routes weren't good. I came back on Friday to try to get it tested again, um, and his ears hadn't cleared up in total, so they didn't do his ears again. Um, so we're basically, we're doing a long-term treatment, and then we'll go get his ears looked at again. Um, personally, I think his ears are going to be fine, but of course, you never know. Um, and so Friday was Samara's first time going, because she was a year old, so she can go. Um, so Friday, we got her ears looked out, which is, which is great. We got her heart looked out. Um, so the test for her heart, you know, didn't come back with good results. Um, however, there is a better test I can do to make sure that, you know, whatever she's going through is, you know, a phase because she's a large dog. So they grow and they grow weirdly. Um, or you may maybe something else that's going on. I don't know. I also want to get her tested for parasites. I don't think she has any parasites, but you, know, you never know. You never know. So we're going to get everything checked out. And we're going to do another test, um, not this week, but the end of next week. That's um, kind of more, a more detailed test for the heart exam. Just to make sure that if there is anything wrong, um, if it's going to clear up or if it's genetic. So we're going to get her tested out for that. Um, but, but yeah, so that'll be, th that'll be not this upcoming Saturday, but Saturday following. And so she'll, she'll, be in, so she'll still be in her heat at that time. Um, but it'll just be her in the car and, you know, she'll be fine. <laughs> but just, I also on, on, I guess I could also talk about, so, um, I also should talk about is also on Friday, like I said, we went to go get, um, you know, Samara's hips. I, I went to go look at their hips as well. So both Kratos and Samara are both too young to have their hips officially examined through the OFA. It has to be two years of old, two years of age. Um, however, I could get an opinion. Um, Samara, are you going to poop girly? That's so rude. She just came out the pen, and so um, it's really rude for her to poop out here and not in the pen. It's just more different places to potty out here for sure, but she's so pretty. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> pretty girl. You're yeah, a pretty girl. She's so pretty. She's going through a weird growing phase right now, though, um, where she's kind of awkward looking, but she's still a pretty girl. Ooh. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted to get a, up, oh, and she's definitely pooping. I guess we'll look at my, my yard. The grass is kind of dying. Can you hurry up, Mrs.? Good girl. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, sweet girl. Hello. I know, you just want to play. I'm going to let Jack out in a second. So, Samara's hips look fine. Um, they also think that Kratos' hips look fine. Um, but the thing with Kratos is that he was just too wiggly. He did not want to stay still so the hips while they do look fine doesn't assume that they are because he was just moving too much um so we'll have to you know and i i feel like he'll be okay but we'll i'm just gonna wait until we do it his official oil at the end of the year um and i'm gonna have them because it's been because so Kratos has been to this vet to get his stuff checked out so many times um so and they keep giving him medication to calm him down because he's just, he doesn't really like to sit still. He doesn't really like people touching him. No, he doesn't bite or anything. He just moves. He moves out the way. He, you know, jerks his head away or, you know, whatever it might be. He just doesn't like to be um, handled too much by weird people. He barely likes me handling him, to be honest. Um, and unfortunately, he has to kind of deal with it while we get his ears cleaned out. Um, but anyway, point is, is that they keep him drugged up. And the last time we went, before we took Samara, we had him on the drugs. And um, and he did better as the exam. But he was just, the the drugs made him super paranoid. And so he just was not anybody's friend. Um, and also he wasn't calm enough. So this past Friday, we upped the dosage. 
um, by a little, more than half. Gave it to him a bit earlier so it can kick in more um, before his meeting or for his appointment. And um, unfortunately, like I said, Samara coming into heat. So Samara's scent just in general made it so that um, he was just, he basically was hyped. So like the drugs just did not work. He was not calm at all. He was actually more excited than he, you know, he was just going by himself. So um, the good news is, is that the next time he goes for his, um, his test, so his, so we're going to do his ears at the end of the year and then also his hips when he's two. Um, I won't be taking Samara with me at that point. Samara's ears are fine. She's going to a, a different place to get her heart exam because they, they, they did the basic test at the vet that we go to, but there's a, a better kind of test that we can go to, um, that we're going to in a couple weeks and Kratos doesn't need to go because he passed the basic heart, heart, heart test. Um... So, and then Samara won't be two until next year. So, you know, she doesn't really have to go back to that vet um, until next year. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of where we are for that. So, um, I'm hoping for the best. Honestly, like there's, everything points to her being fine. Um, you know, so, because with heart issues, there's usually underlying, there's usually, you know, um, signs of there actually being an, an issue if it's an issue right because you know dogs she's a puppy she's growing so sometimes dogs have heart murmurs just because they're growing they're going through a phase of growing especially in bigger dogs and that doesn't necessarily mean this is what it is but i've done a little research and i've um it seems that if it's actually an issue there'll be other issues there'll be other signs showing that you know her heart is causing her concern and samara acts super normal there's nothing abnormal about the way she acts um so I, it, it, everything points to her being fine, but you know, we want to be sure of course. So, but I'll let you guys know what those results come through, um, later. Um, I'll also guys keep you guys updated on Kratos's ears though. Like I said, I don't plan on getting his, going back to vet to get his ears rechecked until I know his, his ear um, infection is gone. Um, maybe I can do a video on how I, <laughs> how I struggled to get his ears cleaned. He absolutely hates it. And Kratos in particular, like I said, he doesn't like being man. He doesn't like being handled that much. Um, and he'll deal with it with me, but it's still very clear that he doesn't like it. Out of all my dogs, he's the, the hardest to handle with, like, getting his nails clipped and stuff. Um, so, but maybe I'll do a video on that just to show you guys how I do it. Um, but anyway, um, that's really it, you guys. So I just want to let you guys know um, how things are going. So while Samara is in heat. Oh, what? You think I want your sick, missus? I'm coming for you now. I'm coming for you now. Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it, ma'am? Can I have it, sweet girl? Hi. She's so pretty. What? You got the stick, ma'am. You got the stick. She's so pretty. All right, go get it. Um, so I'll try to keep you guys updated on how her heat goes. Um... And yeah, I mean, that's nothing much. I said, we're going to use the, the little um, diapers that should come in tomorrow. We'll use those for the first time. Why are you bothering my socks? I know I'm looking crazy. You don't got to point them out. You don't got to point them out. Sorry, I'm wearing socks specifically because it's cold inside the house, but it's really nice out here. Um, anyway, so I'll keep you guys updated on our heat. We'll get the diapers, which will be her first time using them. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I'm like 90% sure she's going to want to take it off. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'll st probably still do videos, um, with her. It'll just be, uh, with her playing with another dog. It probably would just be Jack though. I mean, obviously it'll just be Jack. It'll either be Jack or it'll be me and I'll be doing, I'll be doing a little bit more than this, of course. And we'll do some scent work out here. Um, we can do a lot of stuff. So I'll try to do some different videos while she's in heat just because she's going to be stuck in the house for a couple days. Um, and, and yeah, so, I mean, yeah, that's basically it, you guys. So, um, a little calmer day, um, but I did want to post something. I'm going to try to do some more videos in the, in the, in the near future. And I will otherwise talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm going to say bye, Samara. Bye. Pretty girl.